Let us explore very simple technique to sketch the graph of transformed inverse tangent functions in this video. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this video, we'll discuss how do we sketch the graph of inverse trigonometric ratio, in particular arc tan x. After understanding the characteristics of this particular graph, we'll then see from that how do we sketch the transformed functions to arc tan x plus 1 and minus arc tan x minus 1. We'll also understand how do we restrict the domain of the function so that the inverse is also a function. So let's begin with the basic characteristics of tan x, right? So we'll first understand what is tan x. So t is small, right? So tan x. That means y equals to tan x. So as you know, this graph of tan inverse x is periodic with a period of pi, right? Not 2 pi. So we have vertical asymptotes at every pi by 2 alternate or multiples of pi by 2. So, what I am showing you here are the vertical asymptotes at minus pi by 2 and at pi by 2. Correct. So, this is a period of pi which we are talking about. As you know, the function really repeats and so at every odd multiple of pi by 2, we are going to have a vertical asymptote. Right? So, if you add pi to this, this will be 3 pi by 2. You get the idea and minus 3 pi by 2. So first we are going to sketch the graph of tan function which clearly is kind of like this. Always increasing in its particular interval of pi within the two vertical asymptotes. Correct? So that is the graph. So whenever you sketch a graph you need five critical things to work on. So what are the five things here? two horizontal asymptotes and going through the origin and this point is very critical which is you know it has at pi by 4 value of 1 and even at minus pi by 4 we have minus 1. As you know tangent is an odd function so you can see the symmetry about the origin. So since it fails the horizontal line test we do a restriction so we are going to restrict right so the restriction here is from minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 is that clear to you so now we are working in this particular domain which is from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 so the domain is uh, restricted so we'll also call this as our domain right Now, within this domain, what is the range? As you can see, range is from minus infinity to infinity. And the critical points which we are considering are at minus pi by 4, we have a value minus 1. At 0, 0, we have 0, 0. And at pi by 4, we have 1. You will also notice that here I have sketched a unit circle in quadrant 1 and quadrant 4 is for a reason. Reason is that we have restricted our tangent function in quadrant 1 and 4 minus pi by 2 to pi by 2, right? So this is minus pi by 2 and then from here to here we have pi by 2. Makes sense, correct? So we'll be only considering these two quadrants on the right to look into the values of inverse tan x. Perfect. So, I hope you got the concept. So, we have our basic parent function which is tan x and from here we are going to now sketch arc tan x. So, let's now begin with arc tan x. Also written as tan inverse x. Correct? So, of course, this is equal to y, right? So, so that's what. So, now what we are doing here is 
Now let's summarize that as far as the tan x is concerned, in that case, we have critical points as minus pi by 4. We have a value minus 1. At origin, it is 0, 0. And then at pi by 4, we have the point which is at 1. Plus, we have vertical asymptotes at x equals to minus pi by 2 and pi by 2. Very good. So, that is about tan x. Now, when you do inverse of this, you get y equals to arc tan x. So, when you do arc tan x, x and y points swap. So, these points now become minus 1 minus pi by 4. Makes sense, right? 0, 0, perfect. 1 pi by 4. And vertical asymptotes become horizontal asymptotes, which will be now y equal to minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. Makes sense, correct? So, so that, that is how the points get changed. You see the domain and range also swaps. Now, the domain is all real numbers and the range is restricted between minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. So, let's sketch it now. It's time to sketch. Very simple, correct? So, we are drawing this line y equals to x, correct? And a vertical line here indicating y, right? Now, uh, x and y coordinates, correct? So, we'll do the horizontal asymptotes, which are for us pi by 2 and minus pi by 2. Scale is not there, right? So, it's not to the scale. And the three critical points, which are going through the origin, symmetrically placed, right? Do you see that? So, joining them, horizontal asymptotes at pi by 2 and minus pi by 2, we have our tan graph. Makes sense. Where this particular point is now at 1 pi by 4, right? This is, of course, at origin. And here we have at minus 1, we have the value as minus pi by 4, correct? So, this is minus 1 and that is minus pi by 4. Makes sense? So, the vertical line has those radian pi by 4, pi by 2 and all those things. You get the idea, right? So, the earlier we had that radian values of along the x-axis. Now, they are along the y-axis, right? And 1, 2, 3, 4, these numbers have written on the x-axis. Makes sense? This is 1 for you, correct? So, 1 minus 1 in this and here, we know, we will write this as half of pi by 2, which is pi by 4. Makes sense? That becomes your graph. Uh, exact graph from the graphing calculator has been shown on the right. Now, the whole idea here is once you understand this particular R tan graph, we can actually sketch the transform functions, right? So, simple as that. I hope the concepts are absolutely clear. Well, feel free to write your comments, share your views. Let me also thank all the viewers and subscribers who are really watching our videos, posting excellent comments and suggestions. And special thanks to those who are also contributing. As you know, we are absolutely providing absolutely free services for the last 15 years. We have more than 17,000 videos being watched over 80 countries. Quality education is now available worldwide. And with your support, we can reach millions. So, contribute for a good cause, correct? Great. And also, contact me on email to learn. And also, how do you join this journey of learning? Okay, great. So, let's now look into the transformed functions one by one. So, now we'll consider 2 r tan x plus 1. How do we begin? That is the first question. So, first is, Look for the transform points, right? So, the normal x, y values, which were on the inverse function, will get transformed. Transformation here is vertical stretch by a factor of 2, horizontal translation, 1 unit to the left. So, the x values will be x minus 1, the y values will be 2 times y, correct? So, once again, now we'll do arc tan x, right? Arc tan x points which for us were, as you know, the x values now are the numbers and the y values are those radian pi by 4, right? So, minus 1 
and then this is minus pi by 4 correct origin 0 0 and then we have at 1 we have pi by 4 correct and then we have the um, horizontal asymptotes correct which are at pi by 2 minus pi by 2 normally we'll write minus first okay now look into our function which is 2 times arc tan x plus 1 so clearly what is happening is the y values will be doubled but the x values minus 1 so if i do minus 1 i get minus 2 if i double this up i get minus pi makes sense right uh, and here minus 1 0 and here will be this will come to 0 now and this will be doubled to pi by 2 right sorry this is be pi by 2 right and the vertical horizontal asymptotes will now be uh, at pi and minus pi makes sense plus and minus pi clear so that is what we are going to do now if you are given this graph of arc tan x which is shown here practically what happens is that the horizontal asymptotes had become uh, are twice away right so because there is a scale problem here i'm going to sketch it on the uh, here on, at, at this side right so i'll do like this correct great so well, assume that this is now pi by 2 for us. Is that clear to you? So, this is y equals to pi by 2, one of the horizontal asymptotes for the transform function, and the other one y equals to minus pi by 2. Correct? So, we are talking about 2 arc tan x plus 1. So, the y values get multiplied. So, pi by 2 and uh, uh, they become pi right so not pi by two. we multiply by two so y has not doubled up so the scale is not twice correct so y is equal to pi and y is equals to minus pi so those are your uh, for tan x let me make it clear right for we are now sketching two arc tan x plus one correct the points have shifted so so the three points which we were talking about in the function now move towards the left right so so they have moved towards the left is that clear to you so the graph now is kind of like this and clearly these are your points which are now y intercept is at pi by 2 correct okay? and here we are at minus 1 and this point is at minus 2 is that clear to you minus pi by 2 so, the horizontal asymptotes now are pi and minus pi. The three critical points have moved left by one unit, correct? And uh, twice they have gone uh, down. So, instead of pi by 4, they are at plus minus pi by 2 as shown here. So, I hope that is absolutely clear, right? Now, you can actually pause the video and sketch minus arc tan x minus 1. Those of you who want to learn directly from me, send an email on globalmathinstitute at gmail.com. We can be part of your success story. Our students get admission to the best universities and they get excellent marks. So here is the last one. So what I like you to do uh, while sketching the graph of minus arc tan x minus 1 first thing, write the transformation. The x, y points from arc tan x will be what? The x values will be added by 1 and the y values will be reflected, so minus y. So, we have got two transformations here. One of them is the reflection on the x axis, the other one is translation one unit left, right? So, reflection on x axis, second is translation one unit left right sorry so one unit right because minus one therefore x values will be this correct so with that what do we have as our good points well so we are always considering these three points and the horizontal asymptotes right so the horizontal asymptote will remain same 
So the points will be what? So we have the horizontal asymptotes, which will remain same, which is plus minus pi by 2. The points from left to right, the earlier point was at minus 1, minus pi by 4 will now be at 0 and reflected means pi by 4, correct? The point at origin will move one unit to the right, so 1, 0. And the third point, which was at 1 pi by 4, will be now 2 minus pi by 4. Make sense, right? So we can sketch our graph uh, on this right hand side. So horizontal asymptotes to begin with, they remain same. After reflection, it has odd symmetry. So we have y equals to pi by 2 and y equals to minus pi by 2. Let me write this on this side. Okay. Correct. The points moved one unit to the right. So we have, and they got reflected. So we have a point here and then move right there and this place. You get the idea. Okay. And the whole graph will now, since it has been reflected, it approaches always downwards, right? Instead of increasing, now it is always decreasing. So it becomes always decreasing. So that is the effect of minus. You can see that the range in this case will not change, right? So uh, it is still the same. And uh, that is how the graph is going to be perfect. Domain, of course, is from minus infinity to plus infinity. That also doesn't change with this particular transformation. Perfect. So I hope with this, you understand how do we sketch the graph of trigonometric inverse functions. We have taken up tan in this particular video. While earlier, we have taken sine and cosine with transformations. So I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. And in case you want to learn directly from me, send an email to globalmathinstitute at gmail.com. Thanks for your time and all the best.